everybody, it's I, Dreadlord here. Now, as you all know, Sister Location has been out for a while. And then it just grew up. Then Custom Night came out. I actually, well, know something very valuable. And I just want to give my opinion. So, first of all, in the cutscenes where the guy's walking down the street. This is easy. This is after the guy got scooped. Easy. Boom. There we go. Explained. Psych. But anyway, as you all know, his body started to decay. And of course, it couldn't take out anymore. So he just, you know, threw up, entered into the sewer system. I, I think that's what it is anyway. I hope. But anyway, yeah. And so as you hear, you won't die. You won't die. As it plays on and on, you actually get to hear either one, the ghost, or two, entered talking to you. Now, both of these things are actually easy, easily, to, well, good to explain to you. Because as you all know, Purple Guy has a daughter, which uh, he, he never accepted. That's right, for y'all who says he gone crazy because his, his daughter died, y'all are incorrect. But anyway, as I was saying before, it could be the ghost because she wants him to come up to the afterlife with her. Or possibly to do something. And two, it could be Ennard, because after Ennard sees how valuable life can be, possibly he wants him to live too. But of course, I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, after realizing this, Purple Guy got up with fury. Now, it, when he was stuck inside, whenever he was stuffed, he realized, why does he have to suffer when he can make other people suffer? Exactly. Something stuffed inside of him. People have to follow the same fate, you know? And so that's how he started. And then there's this cutscene. It's me, Michael. I did it. I found it. It was right where you said it would be. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. <laughs> and I found her. I put her back together, just like you asked me to. She's free now. Something is wrong with me. I should be dead, but I'm not. I've been living in shadows. There is only one thing left for me to do now. I'm going to come find you. I'm going to come find you. Now this is very interesting, which means that William Afton is Michael, and Michael is Purple Guy. This is actually really, really, really easy. I knew this ever since the second game, actually. Like, you don't believe me? Here. If you reverse the trailer, then you will see this demented song. Also, this is pretty tormenting, so if you're scared really easy, don't listen to this, okay? Let's listen. Now, as we hear as well, he also says he, ha he has set somebody free, and he has found something. This something may have been something worse. A lot. Yep, but you still don't know. I actually haven't even come up with anything. Yet. But yeah, he says he has found something. And yet he also says 
he has found something else, but they don't recognize him. And Baby even thinks they, that they don't recognize him. And they thought he was his father. I think, to be honest, I think that the father owned the place. And after owning the place, and after... And also, we don't actually know if he was actually the one. Who knows? All we know is that purple guy now is not innocent. It's actually Sadie now. But even after this, I do have something to tell you. Even throughout all of this, let's listen again, but I'll do my analysis. It's me, Michael. I did it. As you hear, he said he found something, as I said before, loyal, or something great. Found it. It was right where you said it would be. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but... Recognize. It may or may not be the children, or the ghosts. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But it, yet, it can also be through normal FNAF 1 animatronics. Then, they thought I was you. Owner. <sighs> and I found her. I put her back together. Possibly Baby, or Ennard. Technically, we still don't know who that child is. It could be Ennard, but Ennard has blue eyes. Baby has green eyes, so I'm saying it's Baby. Just like you asked me to. She's free now. But something... In the afterlife. ...is wrong with me. I should be dead. Easy. He's trapped inside the spring trap suit. And just like the normal FNAF animatronics, they couldn't escape either. Which means he's... Technically, the ghosts are keeping him down into the part where they had to suffer, so he has to suffer what they suffered. But I'm not. I've been living in shadows. He had to lay low for something he did. Maybe murders, maybe he's just staying low profile until the time is right. There is only one thing left for me to do now. He has one wish. That is. I'm going to come find you. A spring trap. I'm going to come find you. Now, as you see, spring trap emerges, which means he's getting active again after the fire. As you see, he singed. I hope you're enjoying my analysis of this whole purple guy thing. It's been a mystery for like over a year now. But now we know who he is. Well, I already know who he is. I knew who he was. But yeah, before y'all say his real name is Mike Schmidt, not William Afton. William Afton is basically just a code name for Mike Schmidt. So yeah. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this explaining of Purple Guy. Wait, wait, bye!